I, I as uh for for my ne- for my next two actually, um, I kind of wanted to go down and see um, see where things would take me. So I turned my VPN on, on and I I went on to YouTube um, as not a user, just as a blank kind of slate. Um, uh, basically, I'm just a random uh, user on YouTube that's not logged in. So I, I went so down. So this is more of an experiment. Yes. Yeah, so I went down Woo! and experimented. Oh. This so should be interesting. The the first one I did, I was just a uh, basic, um, just basically, I just clicked on the first video on each on each one. So. The first video on it was animals that save people's lives. So I clicked on animals that save people's lives. I didn't watch the video. I just paused it and then I clicked on the next video. And the next video was um, beautiful moments in sports was, was the next video that was on the top of the list. Was that one of our videos? No. <laughs> We're not we're not quite there yet. These these are generally the, the I know I I titled I titled yeah. a video some similar to that. Well, the number one feed video generally has over ten million views yeah, per. So that's true. Um, and then the next video that was on the top of the list was a Mr. Beast video, <laughs> where there was a hundred people in a circle, and the last one to leave the circle uh, uh, wins. Um, so. <laughs> Was it like one of those bathroom challenges where you got to put your hand on the cars? No, it was just people standing in a circle in a field. Uh, it had 138 million views, so. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we, say what you want about the guy. He, he uh, figured out the algorithm. Yeah. Um, then I don't know who this guy was. Uh, it was uh, Colin, I, don't, I think I scribbled this, Colin Mulig or something like that. I don't even know what it was. It didn't seem that interesting to me, regardless, but it was the top one on the list. So I paused it, and then moved to the next top video, which was a guy named Cardle, Carter Shore. I have no idea who that is. Uh, so I, it didn't look interesting to me. I paused it and moved on to the next one. And then I went, the next top one was trick shot videos. So those are, those are pretty entertaining. Trick shot videos is different. Throw it over the house and into the basketball hoop, and basically that led to Dude Perfect, which is the was was the next top video. And every I think a lot of people know Dude Perfect. It's basically just these guys, a group of guys that just try to throw basketballs as far as they can over buildings, off walls, and kick footballs from mm-hmm. one place to another and try to make it landing. I, I I imagine they probably spend hours and hours trying to throw basketballs and kick footballs into certain spots to make amazing shots. Yeah, I would have to assume so. Which they would probably have to have some kind of at least physical talent to be able to do some of these things as well. And then from Dude Perfect, the next top one was a Minecraft gaming video. And from that point on, I could not get off Minecraft uh, gaming videos. There was always, no matter how many times you moved from video to video to video to video, it constantly kept me on Minecraft gaming videos. And I was stuck on Minecraft. That, that was where it ended. From, from, it, moving from... <laughs> animals saving people. Yes. From, from moving from animals saving people's lives to Minecraft videos. I, I believe that Minecraft is like the most viewed search on, is it? on YouTube. I mean, I can't get I, into I, it. I believe they just recently like got over one trillion views on all the total Minecraft videos. Okay. I, I do remember hearing that. Basically, I'm, I'm going to imagine that any random place you move to, it's going to... Um, <laughs> if, if Minecraft videos are the most viewed videos... On YouTube, that it's always going to lead to Minecraft videos. Well, I mean, I, I would say the most viewed genre. Okay. You know, I mean, actually, actually, subgenre would probably be a better way because I mean, 
Minecraft's still a game, so right. that would fall into gaming videos, but subgenre Minecraft videos. Gotcha. One trillion, one trillion views strong. So I, w I would have to do a whole lot more experimentation to make that a true fact that everything you start at always leads to Minecraft <laughs> game videos. <laughs> but that's where I, that I started at Animal Saving People's Lives. Going from uh, Beautiful Moments of Sports, Mr. Beast, a couple random YouTubers, Trick Shots, Dude Perfect, Minecraft. Minecraft. There we go. Well, got, didn't you say you did this twice? I did this twice, and this time I did it in a political way. Mm, okay. So I looked up gun control. Did you look anything up when you, on the first one? Or did um, you just pick the first video? The, the first, the first video on when I when I opened up YouTube, it was one of the first videos that I saw. Okay, so you didn't actually search anything the first. No, nope, I did not search. Anything. Okay, All this right. time I searched something. I searched gun control, and uh, this might have been kind of like a bias towards the way that I do things. But one of the top videos was uh, Steven Crowder um, on. Uh, he go, where he goes up and interviews people and says uh, gun control is nonsense um, or uh, proof to me why it's not. I can't remember exactly what the... Uh, yeah. But basically it went from Steven Crowder, gun control is nonsense. Then it went um, from Jordan Peterson interview. Um, you know who Jordan Peterson is, yeah. right? All right, and then it moved from Jordan Peterson. He kind of talks like Kermit the Frog. Right. He's a clinical psychologist, I believe. And then the next, uh, it moved me to Ben Shapiro. And then from Ben Shapiro, it sent me uh, down two different paths of two different people. So I was basically looking for, on the feed, I would, because the, the feed generally, if I looked up, if I had a Stephen Crowder video, the next video would be Stephen Crowder. Mm -hmm. So I was basically looking for videos that sent me to other people. Gotcha. So, there was two different people off the Ben Shapiro feed. One was Matt Walsh, who I believe uh, also works uh, with Ben Shapiro. On, uh, on, he's basically part of the same company. And the other person that it sent me to was Joe Rogan. So, I think that if you go to Joe Rogan, it's always going to lead you on the same path to more and more Joe Rogan videos, so I decided not to take that path. Mm -hmm. So I took the Matt Walsh path to see where that would send me. And from Matt Walsh, uh, it sent me to uh, Larry Elder. And I don't know if you know who Larry Elder was, but he ran for governor for, for California uh, in the special election. Mm -hmm. uh, and he ended up losing. He's a, he's a Republican. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's ringing a bell now. Which, by the way, I watched... I mean, if you just told me the name, I'd be like... Right. Yeah. By the way, I I, I like I'm a fan of Larry Elder. Uh, I the the story about him and his father is uh, basically an amazing story in my personal opinion. And if he, I mean, I we I don't want to get into it now, but it is pretty amazing. Mm. He wrote a whole book about it. Yeah, I'm a familiar. So. Um, from Larry Elder, it sent me to uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Tim Pool. Um, and then from Tim Pool, it sent me to Michael Knowles. And then from Michael Knowles, it sent me, in my personal opinion, uh, to the end-all, be-all of fact and reality and history, uh, Thomas Sowell. Who? Thomas Sowell. You don't know who Thomas Sowell is? No. Uh, I'm a big fan. He's a, he's a historian. Um, his takes are very well thought out and, uh... He's written a lot, and I, I he he basically, if you haven't heard Thomas Sowell speak or or uh, read one of his books, I really do recommend it. It teaches you a lot about uh, history and how that certain parts of history that aren't printed in general history books that you might read or learn from in school. Hmm. So so basically. The part of the history that got left out of the books. Era, oh, correct. Because it didn't agree with the victor's narrative. Right. So that is that is personally why I'm a big fan of Tom Soul. Maybe I'll look into checking some of the stuff out. So, 
So on that one, you went from gun control. Right. So basically on that one... Do you one, remember what the video of that guy was about? Was it about gun control or was or, it about... Who, to, to, Steven Crowder? No, 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 no. The, the last guy. Was oh, about Tom something Sowell? totally different than gun control. I believe it was, um, but I, do, I don't 100% remember what the video was about. But I, I was basically going down the... the, the uh, the path of the people, not specifically oh, what they were talking okay. about. So basically, it went from I looked up gun control. That was, okay, off of that list, that, well, at that time, how many of those videos that you watched out of that, or you know, even clicked on, had anything to do about gun control? Would you say? Ooh. <coughs> uh, I, I, w I would believe that um, probably none of them. Except for the first one. Except for the first one, mm. and uh, basically, I, I was I wasn't really focused on the gun control object right, right. after I, after I, I looked it up the that, first but, time. But that is also what you started your search with. Right, right. So I, I, that's all right. Well, maybe my flawed uh, ability to uh, to do that research was was a little well, bit. Well, I, I mean, you probably weren't expecting that question, either. right? Because, like you said, you had the idea with the people, right. So yeah, once I once I found that I was going to go stick with the people and see what kind of rabbit hole it would mm -hmm. take me down. But I I am really am glad that it actually got me to but, one of my favorite uh, to one of my favorite uh, historians. But that's technically not a, a rabbit hole at that point in time. That's a human hole, right? Well, um, I don't want to be in any of these humans' holes. <laughs> uh, let's throw it in a ditch. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's that's interesting. That's an interesting experiment. I think we just came up with a new game show. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a game show? I don't know how it would work. Are we going to get points? How are we going to get points? You have to have points in a game know. show. <laughs> work in progress. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, we'll just go ahead and wet it there. Um, the Bangcast, episode 22, we talked about... YouTube rabbit holes, other video rabbit holes, how what you search for for is not what you normally end up with after yep. you click off the first video. Other similar ideas and stuff. So if you found this bit of content enjoyable, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit a bell button. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm of course Gregor Guy. My name is Casey. And by the way, happy birthday, Casey. Thank you. You old fuck. Well, you're right behind me, fucker. Yeah, I know. For everyone out there watching, enjoy the rest of your week.